so I received the waffle maker from my secret Santa Pyori and I'm about to give it a try for the first time ever. It's been like almost a month since I got it, but I haven't had the chance to try it yet. So it's gonna be my unboxing of the waffle maker. Black. By the way, this t-shirt is from Healers, it's from Stadium LA, the brand that BM is in charge of and part of the proceeds goes to anti-bullying organization, so cop one. I have the size medium and I love the fit, it just falls right out the shoulders. I bought this pancake slash waffle mix, it's from an Australian brand called Kiala. So I just have to put milk in here and shake it up and that's it. It's still stuck. I'm doing it's my first time trying to make waffles so it might end up being an epic fail too much oh no it's falling out no 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 please no stop please oh my gosh no why wait stop Oh my god, such a mess right now. And this is maple syrup from Canada that Sojung got me when she visited Vancouver. It is the gold medal winner from the International Maple Syrup Institute. Okay, it's green, so it must mean that it's done. Oh gosh. Ooh. Wow! Yay! It's well done, just the way I like it. It's gonna be delicious, delicious, very, very delicious. I love how I'm using chopsticks for butter. I just love maple syrup so much. My coffee is ready. Oh my god. Oh yes. Oh yeah, baby. Wow, the Australian pancake mix is really delicious. The pancake mix itself is pretty sweet. Oh, my phone is weird. It keeps changing colors. Right? My skin tone color keeps changing. iPhone, step your game up. Mm. The butter gives it like it's... Um, really rich and salty taste. It's heavenly. So on Wednesdays and Fridays, I have a recording at radio from 6 to like 7.30. So I have to eat dinner here. And for today's dinner, I ordered salad from this place called Selleti. lunch. I'm looking forward to it because I just had the 
persimmon in the morning. I'm going to try something new today. It's really simple though. I just stumbled upon this on Instagram and I looked it up on YouTube and there were so many videos on this. I'm going to be making ganjang keran guksu. It's kind of like rice with over easy egg on top with soy sauce and sesame oil and some sesame seed but just with noodles. I think I made a bit too much. It's so much noodles. I was supposed to put vinegar in the water. Completely forgot. Darn it. The best part, I'm gonna crack the noodles on top. Uh, what? I'm gonna crack the egg and put the yolk on top of the noodles. Okay, you ready? Boing! Oh, that's cute. Deep. How scrumptious does this look? Ah! Oh my god. You guys should try it too. <laughs> Good afternoon. I'm gonna make a very simple meal today. This ready to make frozen fried rice with chicken breast. Konjak pokumbap, konjak fried rice with chicken breast and quinoa. It's a simple chicken breast konjak fried rice with side dishes, kimchi and ojinga jokar. I'm gonna pop the yolk, of course. Ooh. Mm. I made myself a cup of hot chocolate. I was gonna drink regular coffee, but I was craving something sweet, so I went for hot chocolate instead. today to go to the Troyorake Spa and I just was walking around and came into this Japanese place for lunch. Dessert, so gonna get cruffles. I had a lot of food today with the kyukatsu, omelet rice, and cruffles. So for dinner, I'm going to just have a simple meal. Well, it's more like a snack. I'm gonna have avocados wrapped with seaweed. 
So I had this very often during the vegan challenge as a snack and a lot of you guys tried it out too and told me that you guys really loved it so it made me happy. Um, it's such a simple snack but it really is delicious and I missed it. It's been a while since I had it. Ew, avocado looks kind of bad. I'll just scrape that off. Avocado turned a little brown, but it's fine. Just gotta work with what I have. Hanging from the nose, please. All up in the rafters. This that happily ever after. No, wrong page, different chapter. She said, slow down, then went faster. Wait. I like that. That looks really gross. This is soy sauce. Had to get thanks. Yeah, this is sesame oil. I gotta think, cuz. Okay, I don't know how to plate it pretty, okay? Please forgive me. Alright. So I'm just gonna wrap the avocado in seaweed. And dip it in. Sesame oil with soy sauce. Best snack, guys. So easy and simple. I was still feeling kind of hungry, so I made myself two fried eggs. I'm at Joan's house today. And we just ordered lunch from this place called Gato. Okay, ready? Bam. <gasps> We got the brunch sets with omelette and fruits and veggies and then Joan got the um, open avocado toast with shrimp. Wow, that looks bomb. And then it comes with yogurt and then um, pound cake and some loaves of bread and coffee. Oh my gosh. I have this nice set right here. Yeah. Ashley, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna eat a little healthier today. Damn, you look so bougie right now with your necklace. I, I say healthy and I pick up bread first. <laughs> Whatever. You favorite. said you wanted anything but bread. Oh my god, this is so good. My bread. It kind of tastes like the soup my mom used to make. Mm. Super easy, microwavable. <laughs> I can't make corn soup. <laughs> so we had lunch together and now it's time for dinner. Yes. We're having Korean food. <gasps> food cooked by Joan's mommy, who's not here, but... Joan warmed it up for me. I've got jangjorim and ojingoche and kimchi and bukguk. Mmm. Good, right? Yes, Yoksu, Joan's mommy. <laughs> Her bukguk is really good. It's just simple. all of the persimmons first because I know the apples are gonna be really sweet with the peanut butter. I never liked peanut butter until I started having it with apple. You know in elementary school like a popular snack was PB&J sandwich or like Reese's but I hated everything with peanut butter in it. I don't know why. I'm still not like a huge fan of peanut butter or anything else. For lunch today, I'm gonna be making kimchi fried rice. I was originally gonna make kimchi stew, kimchi jjigae, but it snowed outside and I'm really scared of slipping, especially after what happened to my mom. So I decided to just stay home and make kimchi fried rice with the ingredients I have, which are just kimchi, onions, uh, rice, and chicken breast steak. As you guys know, I'm not a fan of sausage or spam so instead in my kimchi fried rice i'm going to be putting chicken breast steak let's get to cooking 
And if you guys are wondering how I am filming this, this might be like a, an angle that you never saw before. Well, I bought this multi-purpose um, cell phone stand that sticks to anything. So it, this is on my fan right now. It's pretty cool. Because my kitchen is small, I can't get a lot of different shots. And I thought this would be useful. I did put a lot of kimchi, but that's how I like my kimchi fried rice. Do you love me? Do you not? Do you think about me every time? Cause you've been running my mind all day. I'm at NBC today and I just finished my segment and I'm waiting for the live show to end which is at 9 so I can go eat downstairs at the cafeteria with the rest of the staff I have a recording that I have to do at 9.40 after we eat On days I don't get a lot of sleep, I tend to be hungrier or hangrier <laughs> kimchi stew kimchi jjigae and i'm watching Pek Jowan chef's recipe on youtube i hope it's an upgrade from the last time i tried to make kimchi jjigae not that it was like really terrible but i mean it didn't taste like the ones that you eat in stores or restaurants <laughs> because it kind of looks bland, the color, so I want it to be more flavorful because even Chef Pek Jong-un said with kimchi jjigae, the more you cook it, the better it becomes, so... So dirty because like the water overflowed once and it's not very pleasant to look at but as long as it's good I'm happy. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. The pork got really soft. The kimchi is still a little hard. So when I eat kimchi stew, I like the kimchi to be really soggy. And I thought I cooked long enough, but I don't know. I didn't put any spicy pepper in it because I'm not really good at eating spicy food, but I still put a lot of red pepper flakes, so 
it's just like the right amount of spicy all right guys since i had such a late lunch for dinner i'm probably just gonna have a sweet potato or banana with almond milk so i'm just going to say goodbye here because it's going to be repetitive i think in this video there was a good mix of delivery food easy dishes to make at home uh simple like convenient food and what else was there yeah that was about it if there are any dishes you want me to try or any cooking channels that you want to recommend me please let me know in the comments below and i hope you guys enjoyed it all right everyone stay safe take care of yourself be sure to eat healthy and I shall see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.